All right, y'all. I believe we as a church need to do better. We need to do more. You know, every time you have somebody that has a need, they're sick or know somebody's sick or something like that, um, they'll either come to church and get prayed for. Either somebody in the church that knows them will put them on a prayer list, things like that. I don't believe that's doing enough. When is the last time that a group got together and went and laid hands on these people and prayed for them? Whether they come to church or not, that don't make no difference. We need to go to them. That's how we be disciples and be ambassadors. If the people in those days in Jesus' times, the disciples and Paul and the ones who were commissioned to spread the gospel, if they just waited for people to come to church, there would be no Christians today. But they went out in the highways and byways, in the land, with their neighbors, in the communities, and they spread the word of God, they laid hands on people, and they healed them, and they done all these great things. Jesus said, everything I do, you will do, and greater things. But we don't do that. We pray half-hearted prayers for people that neither the one praying it or the one being prayed for believes. When you see people go up and pray to be healed, they're not expecting to get healed, neither are the ones praying it. If they do get healed, everybody's surprised. That's not the way God works. God says if you lay hands on people and pray for them, they shall recover, not they might recover. We have no faith. We say we have faith, but we have no works. We have nothing to back it up. I've seen, a, I've seen or heard a while back somebody said if somebody accused you of being a Christian, would it be enough evidence to convict you? And for a lot of times, me, myself included, I don't think it would be. I think we need to change. We need to get after it. We need to start putting faith in motion. We need to go out and lay hands on people. We need to trust God for the healing. Thank Him for the healing. Have faith in the healing. I can't remember the exact story, but I'm pretty sure it was Peter, and I can't remember who else it was. The lame man that was sitting out, no, he was blind, I believe, that was out uh, by the gate begging. And they said, silver and gold, I have none, but what I do have, I give to you. The gift of God, the Spirit of God, the Word of God. They said, get up. He got up. That's what Jesus did. Jesus healed people. He said, take up your mat and walk. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We say that, but we don't believe it. We don't look for the miracles and the signs that God did in the Old Testament and through the New Testament. We don't expect it. We don't look for it. We don't believe it if it happens. I'm not the most spiritual person in the world. By that I mean I'm not the most in touch with spiritual things. I'm a very logical and reasonable person. I'm trying to have more faith. I'm sure some of y'all have the same problems I do. You will see something happen. You'll see something, a miracle, something that you can't explain any other way but God. But we don't soak it in. I mean, we'll, you know, bask in it for a few minutes, and we forget about it. We shove it to the back. We put it on the side burner. 
we don't carry it with us. Me and a whole lot of other people, we have a complaining problem. It doesn't matter what God does for us, it's not enough. We keep needing this thing or wanting this thing and complaining about this thing or something. That's why the Christians are losing the fights. That's why the churches are empty because the Christians look just like the people in the world. We're doing the same things. We're just as miserable as anybody else in the world. We have the same complaints of anybody else in the world. We're supposed to be set apart and be different. Most people wouldn't know if we was Christian or not unless we come out and told them. We don't have that evident life in us. That's about all I got for this one. Stay prayed up, prepped up, and strapped up. See you.